Yeah, this, I mean, this dude has been kneeling in, like, somebody that he was eating. Okay, so, um, yes. All right, so Halloween is right around the corner, and I thought it would be fun to make a uh, zombie tutorial. Okay, so you can see over my layers panel, I have a bunch of images already lined up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click this eyeball here to uh, make this first layer invisible. You can see that we also have this uh, skull. Moving on, we have some rust. We're going to use that to make a uh, rotting skin. And then uh, we've got some paint here. I think that we can use this to make a nice head wound. And we got a background here. I think this will look pretty cool in the background. And then we have some uh, raw meat. Go ahead and turn all these back on. All right, so uh, let's get going. Well, um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, see how I have the um, sketchy dude selected here. I'm going to hold down shift and uh, click the bottom here just to select all of my layers. Then I'm going to hit command or control G just to put all of those in a group, okay? Um, what I'm going to do instead of actually uh, edit any of these directly is I'm going to be duplicating them and moving them above the group as I work. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that is I want to be able to just duplicate my images and uh, work with them as I go because I'm going to be using several copies. All right, speaking of, I'm going to go ahead and come to the sketchy dude layer here and I'm going to right click and hit duplicate right here. Okay. And let's see, we're actually, we'll just call this one BG for background. So then I'm gonna click and drag and move that above the uh, group folder, like so. Okay, just like that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this layer again. Um, instead of right clicking, I can also drag it down here to the little square with the plus sign, and it makes a copy like that. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, double click on that title, and we'll just call this one zombie. All right, so now we have the uh, background, and we have the zombie. So what I'm going to do is hit P for pen tool. All right, there's lots of different ways to cut that object. You can do it however you want. Um, I just recommend that however you do it, just cut it out and use masks when you do it, okay? So you can use the quick selection or the magic wand or lasso tool or whatever you want to use. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit Command or Control Plus and just zoom in. And let's pick a spot with a curve on it, okay? Yeah, we'll come up right up here to the elbow. There we go. And then I'm just gonna pick a spot right here and I'm going to click and then I'm gonna come down here a little bit and then click and drag to add a curve. Okay, see how we can curve like that? Now, once you've added a curve, if you click again, the curve will actually balance itself out. Okay, I'm gonna hit Command or Control Z to undo that. All right, so sometimes that's really useful. Sometimes um, you need to actually cancel those out. So one way to cancel out the curve is just go back to your last click, hold down Alt or Option, and then click, and you see that curve handle went away? Okay, and then that canceled out your curve and you can just keep going. So for example, I'll come around the elbow here like that, and then I'll just come over here and hit um, Alt or Option and then cancel out that curve and then just keep going. So that's what I'm going to do around the entire character. And then um, I can also hold down Space Bar and see how my cursor changes to the hand, the Move tool. And I can move my can canvas around, okay? The other thing I'm going to be doing, I'm sure, is if I click somewhere and then I decide I need to adjust a, a little bit, I can use my arrow keys. See that? And I can move it around. All right. So that's all I'm going to be doing is clicking and dragging, holding down Alt or Option and canceling out curves as I continue to click and drag and do curves and then moving my arrows around to make fine adjustments. And I'm going to go around the entire character like that. All right, it'll take a couple of minutes. And so um, what I'll do is um, I'll just meet you in the future. Okay, so we're almost there. Just coming around to the very end here. That didn't take too long. A couple more, so right there, and I'd say we're good. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come up here and just hit selection, all right? And then I'm going to just hit okay. Feather radius zero, anti-alias checked is fine. New selection, sure, so let's just hit okay. All right, and there we have our marching ants. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out by hitting command or control zero. And there we go. Okay, I'm gonna close that window. All right, so coming over to the layers panel, I'm going to select this uh, layer mask icon right here, the rectangle with the circle, and boom, there's our layer mask. You can see it created this layer mask thumbnail right next to our image thumbnail right here. And if I turn off the bottom layers, you can see that we have cut out our character and we are ready to go. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, command or control S. Okay, we are looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my background again. All right, so let's uh, make our character a lot scarier. Okay, coming down here to my image assets, I have in my grouped folder here. I'm going to uh, grab the skull right here and I'm gonna duplicate that layer. So I'll just right click and duplicate that layer. Okay, that'll work. And then I'm going to grab my skull and I'm going to drag it up to the top here like so. All right. And let's see, I'll go ahead and close my group up here so we can just say nice and organized. Double click on that layer and we'll just call this skull for now. And let's, um, well, let's make some adjustments here. I'm going to hit Commander Control minus and zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hit V for Move Tool. You can also just come up here and hit Move Tool. I'm going to make sure that Show Transform Controls is selected. And I'm going to come over here to the Layers panel and pull the opacity down a bit so I can see through. Okay, yeah, something like that. Okay, I'm gonna grab a corner and I'm just gonna sh shrink this up a bit, like so. Okay, just get it over, over our character, something like that. I'm gonna hit Command or Control Plus to zoom in. All right, shrink it down, get it close in size. There we go, something like that. Let's zoom in a bit more here. All right, there we go. So what I wanna do is I wanna match it up, get the skull, to fit pretty well, then we'll do a little bit of warping on it to get it to fit a little bit better. That's actually pretty close right there. So um, what we can do is, you, I want the uh, bone right here is where the eyebrow is gonna be sitting. So something like that, okay, that'll work. Um, I think I can shrink this down a bit more still, like so. That's probably it right there. Uh, I need to go a little bit bigger, I think, okay. And the angle's not quite right, and so I'm gonna need to make some adjustments here. So what I'll do is I'll hold down Command or Control, and you see how my cursor changes to that uh, white triangle when I'm on a corner like that? So now I can warp, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda warp it into place where I want it, like so. I'm going to hold down Shift. See, if I grab the side, it actually changes the uh, size of the entire image. But if I hold down Shift, it just does the one side. That way I can kinda stretch that out a little bit like so. I'll hold down controller option again and do a little bit more warp and on a corner, something like that. Yeah, that'll probably work. Something like that, something like that. Maybe I'll pull this side down a little bit more just to make that cheekbone a bit bigger on that side. Yeah, that's gonna work great. That's it, that's it. Okay, loving it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, enter or return. You can also just hit this check mark right here. Boom, okay. So now what I'm going to do is turn the opacity all the way back up like so. Okay, and notice that the skull is above our zombie, and the zombie has a mask applied here that's in the shape of our character, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this to, clip the skull layer to the zombie layer. So how I'm gonna do that is, see my cursor is in between the two layers. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option, like so, and see how my cursor changes to the clipping icon? All right, so now I'm going to click, boom. So uh, let me show you what that did. I'll go ahead and make sure my Move tool is selected, and I can move this around, see that? Yeah, okay, it's only moving within the shape of our character. All right, I'm gonna let go and hit Command or Control Z to undo that. Okay, so with the skull layer selected, I'm gonna come down here and select mask. All right, so now I've applied a mask and now we can actually use our white and black brush to paint out the areas that we uh, don't want. Okay, so um, next thing I'm gonna do is come over here to my blending modes and come down here and we'll change this to soft light. Okay, we can also do overlay. Now let's do soft light. Yeah, okay, already looks pretty freaky, right? All right, um, so I'm gonna make sure that the mask is selected, not the thumbnail image of the skull, but the mask is selected. I'm gonna hit B for brush. Make sure black is selected. I'll adjust my brush size with my brackets. And let's see, I'm going to take out most of this. Okay, I just want, like, I really just want the cheekbone, to be honest, those cheekbones, okay, and the kind of the sunken eyes. Yeah, so we'll kind of take out up here. Again, just painting on with some black, like so. Uh-huh, come in here a bit, like that. All right, reclaim the nose as well, okay. I think I might leave a little bit right here. I like, yeah, that's looking good. Right here, I think I need to soften. So um, keep in mind, I'm using a uh, hardness of zero on my brush so that the cuts are um, blurry or fuzzy on the ends, right? I'm gonna increase my brush size and just kind of blend that in a bit like that. Something like that, there we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's looking pretty good, just like that. Um, let's see, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the opacity down on my brush, 
okay, like 24. That way I can kind of do like partial, okay. Yeah, um, I'll go ahead and actually turn the opacity all up to 100 again and just open up the eyes. There we go. We're going to actually darken these in a different way. What I'm really looking for is this, uh, just the skull kind of showing through a little bit. Okay, yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, that's already looking completely nuts. Okay, um, opacity 100, miss a spot down there. All right, I think we're looking pretty good there. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Command or Control 0 and zoom out again. All right, and hit Save. Okay, so our sketchy dude is already starting to look like a zombie. I think before we apply a lot of uh, skin rot, let's um, let's let's give our sketchy dude a head wound. Okay, okay, he needs a head wound. All right, so I'm gonna come down here to uh, my groups again. Open that up. So I've got um, let's see, I've got this uh, paint layer here. This time I'm going to just grab my paint layer and then just come down here to the square with the plus in it and just drop it right there to duplicate the layer. Grab that layer and move it up here on top, like so. Okay, great. I'm going to uh, do the same thing with the uh, stake layer here. I'm going to drag that down to the plus symbol, duplicate it, pull it up here to the top. All right, boom. Go ahead and close my image group again. Just save those for when I need them. Okay, so I think just looking at the, uh, I'm going to make sure the paint layer is selected here. Looking at the paint here, I think that right here, We'll, we'll have this be a wound, okay? And then we'll just kind of make this the skin around here. So we've got like this cracked spot and we'll put the meat inside of it, okay? It's gonna be nasty. Um, all right, so let's see here. I'll go ahead and, um, well, let's do the pen tool first. So I'll go ahead and hit P for pen tool and I'm gonna zoom in here a bit. And what I'm going to do is just cut this out, okay? Just by uh, clicking and dragging and just getting close, all right? Clicking and dragging like so. And what I'm gonna do is just go around this whole thing, go around here, probably include some of the cracks, all right, like so, and just zip around this, probably go down this somewhat, but we can come back in with a brush after that because we'll be working with a mask and paint some of that out. So um, what I'll do is zip around this real quick and I'll meet you on the other side. And there we go, we about got it. And go ahead and just close that up, come up here and hit selection. And then we'll just hit OK. All right, there's our marching ants. So we're going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. OK, now that we have our marching ants here, if I come over here and just hit my uh, layer mask, you can see it cut it out, right? Um, but if I have the layer mask selected, I can actually just invert that layer. It's pretty cool. So I can just um, hold down Command or Control and then hit I. And see that? It just inverts the mask. All right. So now I've just cut out the center of the mask. Okay, there. All right, so you can see how this is gonna look. It's gonna be gross. All right, um, right, let's see here. Next thing that I'm gonna do is hit my move tool here. All right, or you can also just hit V. And then I'm gonna just select my stake layer and just move this around till I find a spot that looks, you know, nasty. All right, yeah, like maybe somewhere around there. Maybe I'll go up to the uh, paint layer here. All right, make sure my move tool is selected and uh, shrink the paint down a little bit some, like so. All right, and we'll just kind of pick a spot that fit. Yeah, okay, I think that right there is, okay, sufficiently gross. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and hold down Shift and select the stake copy layer as well. Okay, so now both of these layers are selected. All right, and then I'm going to hit Command or Control G to put them in a group, okay? And we'll just go ahead and double click on that group right now and we'll just call this Head Wound. All right, now what I can do is apply a layer mask to this um, group. So I'll come down here and just select Layer Mask, okay? Now I have a layer mask on my group, all right? Okay, and then what I'm gonna do with, uh, make sure the Move tool is selected is I'll just uh, grab a corner here of my group and just shrink that down a bit, like so. Okay, I come up here and hit my check mark to commit to that size change. All right, you can also hit Return or Enter to commit to a size change. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit B for brush, okay, and then make sure black is selected and make sure my layer mask is selected. I'm gonna increase my brush size a bit. Make sure that you have a soft brush, so that would be a hardness of zero. All right, and I'm gonna just kind of uh, go around this like that. All right, bring, bring my brush size down a bit here. Okay, just like that, there we go. I just want to have a little bit of the paint around, because that'll be our skin, all right, around our wound, like so. That's gonna work. Come back up here to my Move tool, or you can just hit V, and we'll just kind of move that over like so. It looks like I missed a few spots here, so what I'll do is hit B again, and just. Go all around that, like so, okay. 
looking good. And then what I'm going to do is select my move tool and just shrink this down. And let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and just come up with a nice uh, size head wound here. Let's see. Something maybe like that. A little bit smaller probably. Something like that. That'll work just like that. Okay. All right. I'll go ahead and commit to that change by hitting return or enter or hitting my little check mark up here. I'm going to select B for brush. Shrink my brush down. Whoops. Shrink it down. And just kind of get it to fit in here like so. All right. Something like that. I think that'll look pretty good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is come over here to my blending modes here and see maybe overlay. Overlay works really well. We can check out soft light too. Um, hmm. I like um, overlay. That's looking pretty good. Okay. And it still looks kind of fakey right now, but we have not begun shading or blending or rotting the skin out or anything yet. But what we do have is we do have a nasty looking head wound here with some cracked skin and stuff. All right. So that's pretty fun. So um, let's see what else. Let's go ahead and uh, add some skin rot. All right, so let's do the um, face first. So I'll come back down to my group here, and I have two different uh, rusts here. I'll shut off my other layers for a second so we can take a look at our rusts here. Let's see, we've got uh, this one here and this one here. Okay, this is going to look nice because we can have like some more peeling, nasty skin. Plus, we have this kind of yellow-green color here, which looks pretty sick. And then, um, uh, yeah, this is going to be great. All right, um, let's do, well, we're going to use both on the face, actually, for sure. Um, we're going to put some more meat on the face, too. Um, but for now, let's see. What I'll do is I'll choose Rust 1. All right, so I'll go ahead and turn my other layers back on. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and shut off those layers for now. We don't need them. We already know we are going to take Rust 1, duplicate that layer the same way we did before, Drag that one up on top um, of all of them here. Up, we'll go up above the head wound, okay? And um, let's see. I'll go ahead and zoom out here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to shrink this down. So I will um, make sure that my move tool is selected. So just come up here, or you can hit V for move tool. And then let's see. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit more. That's Command or Control minus, and we will shrink this down. So get down there quite a bit, actually. Yeah, something like that. Just enough to cover the face and definitely cover the neck as well. Something like that. All right. Okay, that's looking pretty good right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit um, enter or return to commit to that. And then what I'm going to do right now is create a layer mask. So I'll just come down here and select layer mask. Okay, and now that I have a layer mask, um, check this out. I have black as my foreground selected. I have my uh, layer mask selected here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Option, Delete, or Alt, Backspace. And what I did is I filled my mask with uh, the foreground color black here. Okay? Yeah, pretty sweet. So what's cool about that is now I can hit B for brush and hit X so that I have white is my foreground. Or you can also hit these arrows here. Just make sure that white is your foreground. All right? And you can come in here and you can color the rust back on. All right? So I'm coloring the rust back on, all right? And obviously it's not blending yet. So let's go ahead and blend right now. So in the blending modes here, I'm gonna come down here to soft light, okay? And drop that, all right? And then I'm just gonna paint on this face rot like that. See that, how the neck looks all rotted and nasty now? <laughs> awesome, all right. Uh, okay, let's get that ear. Definitely the forehead, yeah. See how that's working? Okay, all right. Just like that. Okay, so that's a pretty good first layer here. We're not done yet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shrink my brush down here and get a little closer along here. All right, there we go. Looking good, looking good. Okay, yeah, okay, I think that's gonna work. I think I might kind of darken the hair up a bit more here, kind of make it look greasy. There we go, all right, awesome. Well, it looks really good over here, doesn't it? All right. Um, Okay, so now let's see here. I can see that I'm going to want to soften a little bit of the bone right here. So I'm going to come back down to my skull layer, make sure that my layer mask is selected, make sure that my brush is selected. I will switch to the color black here, make sure black is my foreground. I'll turn the opacity down to like 35% and just kind of soften a little bit of those areas right there. See that? How I'm just kind of I'm not doing a full transparency paint here, just enough to, yeah. 
just so that it blends a little bit better. All right, a little bit in there as well. Ooh, a little bit along the eyebrows here as well. Okay, that's good enough, that's good enough. All right, so let's go ahead and add the other rust here, the rust two. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that layer and then we're gonna drag that one up here as well. All right, yeah, this is gonna be a good one. So I'll go ahead and hit my move tool, shrink this down, all right. Pick out a spot on here. I think probably right here. Okay, I like how we got some of that yellow. And then I, maybe we'll put this right here on the cheek right here. Yeah, let's do that. So I'll go ahead and turn the opacity down so we can see through that a bit. Shrink this down a bit more like that. All right. And then what I'll do is move this up. Something like that. Yeah, totally. Just like that. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I think... Yeah, that's fine. We can make the teeth look nice and yellow and all that too. Although, you know what, actually? Let's actually make the teeth look really dark. So uh, I'm going to move this around a little bit. Yeah, we'll go like that. Okay, so there we go. That way I still got a little bit of peeling on the cheek, but then the teeth are nice and dark and rusted. Okay, that's going to look great. So I'm going to go ahead and hit return or enter like so. We're going to do that same thing again where I'm going to come over here and create a layer mask. Make sure that black is my foreground color. Make sure the layer mask is selected. And then I'm going to hit Option Delete or Alt Backspace and just fill that in. All right. Now what I can do is make sure my layer mask is selected. I can hit B for brush. And I can make sure that white is my foreground color. All right. And um, I can start to paint in. Oops, make sure that my opacity is turned all the way up to 100. I can paint in that rust. We're going to do that same thing again, though. Where we're going to come over to the blending modes and turn that to soft light. All right. And then we can just kind of darken up certain areas, okay? Definitely the teeth. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, maybe we'll kind of make the whole nose a little bit darker up here like that. Around the wound, we'll make the wound look really like bruised and rotted. Blah. Okay, there we go. Um, let's just make the lips look just awful, you know? I mean, this guy wants to bite you. No one wants to get bit by this dude, but, you know, we might as well just make it look even worse, okay? Um yeah, that's probably pretty good. Just like that, actually. Uh, let's see, anywhere else, you know? All right. I kind of darken that ear up a bit. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. Cool, cool. All right, loving that. Um, Actually, let me turn the opacity down on my brush to like 20, 25, 26, and just kind of darken up a little bit in these areas as well. Let's go around the nostrils too, okay? In fact, let's turn that opacity all the way up and just make the nostrils look all rotted and nasty. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. There we go. Um, let's see. What else should we do? Oh, let's let's totally let's mess with the eyes. Okay. So um, let's see. What I'm going to do is um, going to go down to the background layer here. Let me turn off all my layers above it here. See the background layer here is just the regular face. So this time what I'll do is while I have the background selected, I'll just hit Command J. All right. See how that duplicated that? All right. Go ahead and turn off everything else. So now I just have the uh, background copy layer here. We'll go ahead and just uh, double click on that and rename that eyes. All right. Now we don't need this whole thing. So what I can do actually is just, um, I'll just grab my lasso tool right here and we'll just go around right here like so. All right. Like that and select that and then come down here and just hit layer mask. Okay, we just have some eyes right there. All right. So what I'm going to do with the eyes here, Ooh, let's just darken them up. So what I'll do is... On the eye layer here, I will create a new layer above it by coming down here and hitting the square with the plus sign, creating a new layer, okay? And what we'll do with this layer is we'll come up to edit, fill, 50% gray fill, all right? Okay, hit okay. And that has covered that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip that. So we're gonna do that same thing where we uh, did the clipping mask like we did with the skull. Hover my cursor in between the uh, layer here and the eyes. So it changes to that clipping icon and then click and clip that. Okay, awesome. Now I'll come up here to uh, my blending modes and come down here to overlay. Okay, and so it looks like it didn't do anything, right? But what it did is it gave us the ability to burn and dodge. All right, so um, here's my burn tool right here. You can also just hit O, okay? And if your burn tool is not selected, um, you know, you can actually just click and hold or you can hold down shift and just keep hitting O and you'll toggle between those. Okay. So I'm going to start out with, um, actually, I'm actually going to start out with the dodge tool, even though I want to make, um, dark eyes and the dodge tool will make this brighter. And I'm going to just kind of make some areas really bright first, just to catch some light. 
like that. All right, there we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna switch to the burn tool by holding down shift. And I can just keep hitting O until I get that little hand tool. Again, just click and hold burn tool. All right, and then what I'm gonna do with the burn tool is I'm going to make sure that my exposure is set to 100% and just make the eyes dark like that. All right, dark, dark, dark like that. Okay, yeah. Just wanted a little bit of light coming through there. I think that'll really help. All right, something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can kind of just be sloppy about this because we're actually going to turn this layer back on and then come up to the zombie layer, all right? And select B for brush and make sure that black is my foreground and check this out. Now I can just uh, paint on transparency and reveal those dark eyes like that, all right? And the reason why I wanted to do it that way is that'll give me a lot of control here without actually changing the uh, zombie face. Let's go ahead and turn our other layers back on. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, it looks really sketchy. Now, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select white as my foreground, increase my size, and then I think I might just paint in a little bit more. See, like that? All right, like that. Just like that. Maybe switch back to the black, turn the opacity down a bit, and kind of soften up that area there. Yeah, something like that. Let's take a look. Okay, so that is our guy. You know what? I think I want a little bit more uh, light coming through on this side here. So let's see. I'll go ahead and switch to white, turn the opacity down to like 16%, and just a little bit more. Lighten that up just a little bit more. A little bit more on that side there. Because that's why I wanted to separate them like that. It just gives me a lot more control having the layers separated like that. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's that's unbelievably sketchy. Okay, cool. Um, let's see, what should we do next? Let's go ahead and, oh, I know what we should do. Let's uh, let's make this guy's mouth look even nastier. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'll come down here to the steak, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the steak layer, and then I'll pull that up here above the skull layer here, and we'll just drop that right there. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out, and let's see. I'll go ahead and select my move tool, and we'll shrink this down quite a bit, like so. Uh, I don't know. Something like that, maybe. Actually, we'll shrink it down quite a bit more. Something like that. Okay, that should work, just like that. Let's see. Yep, that'll work, that'll work. Oh, okay, so we're gonna do that same thing we've been doing where I'm gonna apply a layer mask, and then um, with the uh, layer mask selected, I'll make sure that black is my foreground color over here. Um, again, you can also hit X to toggle between your foreground and background color. Just make sure that black is selected. Then I'm going to hit Option Delete or Alt Backspace and fill that in. Zoom on up here like so. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is select B for brush. Make sure white is selected. And um, we're going to just kind of paint in some areas here. Um, oh, go ahead and turn my opacity all the way up just like that okay and that doesn't look good yet so what we'll do is we will come over here to our blending modes maybe switch that to soft light there we go just give this dude like nasty i mean you do not want to get bit by this dude okay yeah just something like that all right let's see anywhere else just uh let's see maybe a little bit on the ear right here uh, a little bit under here yeah okay <laughs> Gross, hey? All right, we're making a zombie. All right, all right, all right. That's probably good, that's probably good. Um, you know what? I think maybe I might turn the opacity down, like 20, and just kind of soften up that edge a little bit with something else, just a little bit. Yeah. It's just a, looks a little bit fake how it's cut out right there, so kind of soften that up a little bit like that. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look. Oh, man, okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so let's rot the hands real quick, hey? Okay, so what I'll do is I'll come down to the group here and I'm just gonna select Rust 2. Okay, that was the one with a little bit of the yellow greenish color in the rust. Then I'm gonna duplicate that layer, all right, and then we'll go ahead and pull this up here. And what we'll do is we'll pull it up right um, above the skull layer here, okay? All right, I think that'll work just fine. Um, I'm gonna make sure my move tool is selected and then I'm going to just click and drag and shrink down the rust. Just make sure it covers both hands, all right? All right, uh, it's gotta be a little bit bigger than that, something like that. That should work, let's see, yep, something like that. And we'll just commit to that by hitting return or enter. 
I'm gonna go ahead and click on this layer and we're gonna call this layer hand rot like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, clip this, okay? So the skull is clipped to the uh, zombie. So when I clip the hand to the skull, it's not going to be clipping to the shape of the skull, it's going to be clipping to the shape of the zombie. So I'm going to hold down Alter Option, okay, and hover in between the two layers like that, and then click. Okay, and see that I did? It clipped to the uh, zombie. It did not clip to the skull, it clipped to the zombie. It's the one that's not clipped at the bottom that is the one that governs the shape. All right, now I'm going to create a layer mask. So now the hand rot layer has a layer mask. Make sure that black is my foreground color. And then I'm going to click Option Delete or Alt Backspace, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing again where I'm gonna hit X or just switch so that white is my foreground color. Um, we already know that we want to blend these, so I'm going to go ahead and just go to my blending modes and select soft light. So now the hand rot layer that is um, blending with a soft light. I can zoom in here. All right, and I'm going to uh, hit B for brush. All right, and just kind of paint that in. Oh, my opacity is turned way down. I'm going to turn that up to 100. All right, and just kind of rot those hands like so. There we go. Nasty hands. Let's go over here and do that same thing. All right. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. All right. So the hands are a little brighter. Let's go ahead and try changing to overlay. Ooh, overlay's totally it. Okay, let's zoom in on that. Look at that. Okay, yeah, you don't want those grubby paws grabbing you at all. Let's look at the other one. Oh, that's so nasty. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one here is a little too extreme, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the opacity down to like 24% and then switch so that black is my foreground. And just shrink my brush down. Just kind of paint in a little bit more hand here and there, okay? Yeah, like that. It's just a little too extreme. I looked a little too fake. Like that, kind of switch back to black and paint a little bit more of that in, just so there's a little bit of a shape of a hand. See how that, we kind of lost the shape of the finger here, so I'll switch to black and kind of get some of that finger shape back, like that, and then switch to white. Just kind of paint in where I want it to be, something like that. I think that's looking good. It's looking good. Okay, so um, without a doubt, our zombie's clothes are way too clean. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, save real quick. Command or Control S. And uh, let's make his clothes really greasy and grimy. Okay, to do that, we'll come back down here to our um, image assets and we'll pick Rust 1 this time. I'll go ahead and duplicate that layer. All right, and we'll go ahead and come up here and we'll pull this one above the hand rot, like so. All right, I'm gonna zoom out here. Uh, select V for Move Tool or just come up here and hit Move Tool. And I'm gonna rotate this image this time. So with the uh, Transform Control selected, okay, make sure this is checked. If I come up here to the corner, see how if I hover near the corner, my cursor changes, okay, to like the um, downward and right facing arrow. Okay, that lets me rotate, all right? So I'm gonna rotate this like that, all right? And then shrink it down some, okay, like so. Yeah, something like that. Let's see, something like, I think like that, actually. We're not, not really worried about the hands or the, the head, but I do want to get like the, uh, all the clothes, are, we're going to make them look really grimy and nasty. Um, in fact, no, that'll work. I think that, that that's that's good. I was, I was thinking maybe switching to the other side, but I think this, this is good here, how it's nice and dark. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit um, Enter Return. And then again, we're gonna make a clipping mask. So come over here, hover between the two layers over here and hold down Alter Option and click. Okay, like so, there we go. And then what I'll do is I'll change this to a soft light like that. All right, and you can see already what it did to the pants. Okay, look at that, nasty. If we go ahead and uh, undo that, see that? Yeah, okay. But um, what I need to do now is I need to throw a mask on there. So I'll throw a mask on there and then I'll hit B for brush. Uh, make sure that black is my foreground color over here and see how I've got like those lines right there and stuff I'm going to uh, Reclaim let's see up oh, turn my opacity up to a hundred and just paint on with some transparency again I'm using black and I'm on my layer mask here. Okay, like so Over here too like that and then kind of reclaim the face I think the face already looked good the way it did so we don't need to worry about that all right, like so. And there we go. Let's take a look down here. Yeah, look at how, look at that. Yeah, this, I mean, this dude has been kneeling in like 
somebody that he was eating. Okay, so, um, yes. All right, yeah, we're loving that. That's looking good, that's looking good. You know what, I think looking at the face, I'm gonna come back up here to the uh, Rust 2 copy, and you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and change these real quick. We'll just call this one um, Head Rust 2. And uh, we'll come back to the next one, and we'll just call this one Head Rust 1. All right, that'll keep those two nice and organized for us. And I'm gonna come up here to Head Rust 2, and I'm gonna make sure that uh, the layer mask is selected. Go ahead and select uh, the white for my foreground color here. I'm just gonna hit X to select that. I'm gonna zoom in here, and uh, I'm gonna turn my opacity down. Um, I don't know, maybe like 30 something, 36%, that'll work. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend in a little bit more of this area right there. Yeah, like that. I think maybe a little bit down here as well. Okay, that's good. Maybe a little around, around this nasty area right here. Yuck. Okay, yeah, 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 I like that. Okay, and then what I think we should do is add some shadows around the face a little bit. Some of these areas here, they could be a little darker and blended and then just, uh, yeah, we'll add a little bit uh, more shading. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here and create a new layer again. All right, that is that square with the plus sign. Come up here to edit, fill, 50% gray fill, hit okay. Then I'm just going to select the blending modes here and set that to overlay. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is hit O, and select the burn tool here. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'll shrink my brush down, make sure that it's a soft brush, that the hardness is set to zero. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'll turn the exposure down to like 20, yeah, 21. All right, and then I'm just gonna paint in some areas here like this where I want things to be darker. So I'm just kind of getting the wrinkles, get a little bit under the eyes, okay. Um, zombie has not had a good night's sleep in a while. Um, anywhere that I just think uh, could blend a little better and um, where I think there's any lines, you know, um, wrinkles, just to kind of darken things up, kind of bruise up this area a little more still, just because, you know, it's rough life as a zombie. Let's see, I'm gonna darken this here. Yeah, I think that, there we go. I think that looks a lot better. Kind of darken up some of this too. Yes, um, maybe under there and then, a little bit under here as well, just anywhere where there's lines. I just think that kind of makes things look, look a bit grittier. All right. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. All right. Yes. <laughs> and we'll darken the teeth a little bit more too. Why not? Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rawr. Okay, so, um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave this. We'll just call this a uh, shadow one for now. Okay. And um, I'll probably use this some more to blend in, you know, definitely the shoulders and things like that once we start uh, messing with the backgrounds. Speaking of, let's take out this background right now. This looks a little too friendly here with the day use only sign. And um, so let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is we'll come all the way down here to the bottom to the uh, background layer here, right here, the BG layer, background layer. And we're gonna go ahead and cut out the background. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and close up my group here just to kind of organize things. We'll shut off that eyeball to the uh, group of all my image assets. And with the uh, background layer selected, I'm going to select P for pen tool. You can also just come over here and hit P for pen tool. And we'll cut out the background area. Yeah, so let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Let's see. And we'll just pick a spot. So what I'll probably do is cut it out. And then down here at the bottom it won't really matter because I'll come back with brushes and kind of soften it up so we can blend our background together. So let's see, we'll start somewhere where I know I want to start cutting, like right there, click and drag. I'm just gonna click and drag around this like so. All right. And um, I'm gonna do the same thing that I've been doing when I cut out our uh, character. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and zip around this thing real quick and I'll meet you in the future. Okay, here we are back on the other side again, and I'm just gonna go ahead and close that up. And as you can see down here, I just did some quick cuts across here real quick, just to cut out. And again, we're gonna blend that in. So all I need to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out, command or control zero, and then I'm just going to hit selection, and then we'll hit okay. All right, so there is our marching ants.
Okay, and then if I come down here and hit layer mask, it's going to actually cut out everything around it. Okay, so I'll hit layer mask. And as you can see, it cut out everything around it. And so all I need to do is just hit command or control I and that inverts it. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Like so, all right. So I have inverted it and now we have the space right here that we can fill with something. So coming back down here to my uh, image assets, I have this industrial image right here. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that. This time I'll just hit command J to duplicate, all right? Again, you can also drag it right down here. You can also right click and select duplicate. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this up here to the very last layer. All right, so now we have this industrial scene in the background. Um, it's a bit too big. I'm gonna go ahead and shrink it up because I'd like to show a little bit more of that. It's kind of a cool scene. Definitely get that door right there. Maybe this dude came running out of this door or something. I don't know. And uh, something like that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm liking that. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's see here. Um, I think, I feel like the shot's kind of at a little bit of an angle. So I'm going to come down here to the corner and move my cursor so that it changes. And then just kind of tip it a little bit. I don't know, maybe just anywhere, something like that. Let me go ahead and hit return. And let's see, um, coming back up to the background layer, um, the BG layer here, I'm going to uh, make sure that the layer mask is selected. I'm gonna hit B for brush. Uh, make sure that white is my foreground color. Increase my size by hitting my right bracket. Again, you can always just come up here and change the size up here. Make sure hardness is set to zero. And I'm gonna just paint in some of that ground. See that how it's kind of blending in? Oh, oh. Opacity, turn opacity up to 100%. There we go. Yeah, just like that, just to kind of sell that blend a bit. Okay, and we're gonna make this nice and dark, so I think we'll be fine, but you know, just soften that up, get rid of that hard pen tool cut that we had, like so, that should work. I think I went a little bit too far there, so I'm gonna hit X back to my black, shrink that up some. That, I think, is gonna work just fine like that. Okay, I'm liking that. I think the scene is awesome. Um, I definitely want to darken the background for sure. So let's see. I think what I'll do is first off, I'm going to come all the way up here to the top. Okay. And I'm going to create an adjustment layer. So I'll come down here to uh, this little circle that's like half white, half gray. And I will select hue and saturation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the saturation down quite a bit. All right. Um, you just don't, there's no bright colors in zombie apocalypse. That's just all there is to it. Okay. So I'm going to turn that down. You see saturation here. We can really, uh, Saturate the colors, or we could pull it all the way down to uh, black and white if we wanted to, but just something like that for now, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's that's looking uh, a little more bleak. And speaking of bleak, let's go ahead and make this just a look a little bit more uh, oh sickly. Let's go ahead and give it a. Uh, I'm gonna go to adjustment layers again, and we'll go to photo filter this time. And come over here where it says warming filter right here, and we'll change the filter to green. All right, yeah, we'll just make it look a little bit green, okay? Of course, we could get really extre extreme here, but that's not what we're going for. Just kind of going for, uh, yeah, something like that. Okay, yeah, that's looking great. So let's see here. Um, now, I think let's go ahead and just uh, add a little bit more uh, grit and grime to this, okay? So we'll come down here, and I'm going to pick Rust 2. All right, and uh, we'll duplicate Rust 2 again. So I'll go ahead and just select duplicate here. All right, and we have uh, Rust 2. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that all the way up here to the top, like so. And I think we'll just call this Grime. So we'll go ahead and double click that, call it Grime. And then we'll go ahead and play with the blending modes here. Overlays to extreme. Maybe we'll go with soft light, okay? Like so. You can see how we just kind of made everything just look a little dirtier back here on the buildings and stuff like that. Kind of stained everything up a little bit, which is kind of cool. I don't want it covering up our character. So what I'll do is throw a layer mask on that, okay? And then I'll hit B for brush and make sure that black is selected. And then we'll kind of paint our character back like so. Get those grubby pants back in like so. I think I might uh, darken up the sides a little bit like so, yeah. Maybe in here a little bit more. I kind of like having the shoes being dark like that. I think we'll just kind of lighten up the hands too. So I'll go ahead and turn that back to black. Again, it's a little counterintuitive, right? Because we're using black to paint on transparency on this layer, which then will brighten up the layer below it. All right, it's kind of open up those paws a bit. 
Yeah, make sure the face is nice and visible. There we go. I'm liking that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is awesome. I think what I'll do now is I'm going to uh, come all the way down to the bottom here, and we will select the industrial layer here. It's industrial copy. We'll just call this one uh, industrial BG because that'll be our industrial background. That is this layer right here. All right, and what I'll do is I'll throw an adjustment layer on this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, again hit this circle that's uh, half gray, half white, and come down here to levels. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and grab this white triangle here on the right side and adjust the output levels by just turning that down quite a bit. You see how the background's getting darker? Uh huh, just like that. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking that. I think what I'll do is turn it down quite a bit add another adjustment layer and this time we'll add another hue and saturation okay and then i'm going to turn the saturation down in the background even more i just feel like maybe that green's a little bit too bright and all that just to yeah there we go just make that pretty bleak back there huh all right and then i'll come up to the background layer here so with the uh, background layer selected i'm going to come down here and select levels once again so we added another levels adjustment layer this time it's above the background layer and again i'm going to grab the white output levels and just turn that down some and just kind of darken up this whole scene like so all right okay that's looking pretty good yeah uh, let's see about making it a bit darker yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. All right, so um, the nice thing about the um, l uh, adjustment layer is you see how it creates masks right away like that? So I'm going to go ahead and select the levels mask, all right, and then make sure that black is selected as my brush color. Turn my brush up, and then I can actually open up some things. Maybe I'll turn the opacity down a bit. You know, like if I didn't want to lose some of this gravel and rocks and stuff, didn't want to lose a little bit of this grit in here, I can kind of paint some of that back in like that. All right, same with over on this side, you know. That way if I just kind of like having a little bit of that, uh, the texture from the cement in here, I can go ahead and reveal some of that stuff still like so. Yeah, okay, we're good. All right, that is unbelievably sketchy. <laughs> Okay, that was a fun one. Well, uh, zombie apocalypse. So uh, hope you all had fun with that one. Um, happy Halloween. I'll catch you next time.